When I was a kid, my mother would always put cut flowers on the table, either gathered from the garden or picked in the woods. Uh, we didn't buy them from a florist in those days because we were too poor. But when I was six, about six years old, we moved into a, a new house. But our neighbours had moved in a little while before us and they'd already got their garden and everything all bells and whistles, you know. And ours was just like a, a lot, you know, it was just like a tract of dirt, basically. But they had beautiful daffodils growing in their garden that spring. And I was six years old and I thought, you know, it'd be really nice if we could have flowers in our garden. So... I sneaked over the fence next door and picked a bunch of daffodils and planted them like in the dirt outside the kitchen window. And I went into my mum and said, hey, look out the window. And I thought she was gonna be super excited to see we've now got flowers in our garden. Uh, she wasn't actually that happy with the program and I, I got into a lot of trouble and I was marched around to our neighbors to apologize and I've never forgot the lesson ever since. But there's a sense in which ever since I've been bringing flowers back to show my mother, but on canvas. <laughs> I think as an artist I've always enjoyed like uh, art as a field of study, you know, whether I'm studying a particular kind of flower or a particular landscape or mountain or a particular face. I mean, my wife and I went to Philoli Gardens a few weeks ago up near San Francisco and it's absolutely covered in tulips everywhere. And so I thought that that would be a great place to start looking at particular tulips and doing drawings, taking photos, bringing actual tulips back into the studio. So I've done a series of 48 by 48 tulips, all with different coloured backgrounds. Just a plain, simple tulip, nothing else in them. By stripping away the details, it's an opportunity of focusing in on the main thing. And I think we live in a very cluttered world. Uh, we're being bombarded by phone calls, social media posts, texts. People are fractured and for me, I want to try to bring myself back to a moment of being centered. And so these centralized tulips, to me, speak of that desire for a centered life. 